Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Sock and Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. In this video, I am going to talk about the sable color that is sometimes expressed in miniature schnauzers. I'll also be talking about stand-up ears versus floppy ears. I received an email today from someone who watches my YouTube channel and she says, hey, I saw some of your videos online, wanted to ask you a question based on your expertise on coloring. This little puppy is her puppy when the puppy was six weeks old. And notice the puppy has a black muzzle and really pretty coloring. And also notice the Schnauzer puppy has floppy ears. But fast forward, she says now the puppy is 19 weeks old and her coloring has completely changed. She also has stand up ears. And so here's what her, her coat looks like. So she's saying, what happened to my beautiful puppy? Her fur looks dirty now. How much more will she change? Why don't her ears fold over anymore? So to answer your question, and first, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and for enjoying my schnauzers along with your own. You indicated in the question that you knew you were buying a sable colored schnauzer. Before you buy a sable colored schnauzer, please do a Google search. Just go right into Google, type in sable colored schnauzer, and then click the images button. And what you're going to discover is that sable colored schnauzers change their coloring tremendously before they land on their final color. It is likely that this little girl that we just saw the photos of will lighten up, whiten up to the point where she is just silver later in her life. But she is going through this phase where her coloring will change quite a bit. Here's just an example of what you're going to find when you do a search for images for sable schnauzers. Lots of different colors. So here's one with the dark mask and then you can see it lightening up. But uh, you can see that the colors are going to change pretty dramatically. Here's another example of this. Using Embark, the DNA company that I use, I can look at the traits of my dogs and it is the A locus right here that determines sable. And so the A locus controls switching between black and red pigment in hair cells, but it will only be expressed in dogs that are not little e, little e, at the e locus. In other words, we call this recessive red. Uh, dogs that are KY, KY. So sable, also called fawn dogs, have a mostly or entirely red coat with some interspersed black hairs. And this sable will lighten out very dramatically potentially over time with schnauzers. The person who sent me the question sent this photo of her dog with stand-up ears. And this is what it looks like when a puppy has inherited the genetic trait for stand-up ears. And this is what the puppy looked like when she got the puppy. So stand-up ears versus floppy. Some people have a strong preference one way or the other. They want floppy ears or they want stand-up ears. And when I talk about stand-up ears, I'm not referring to cropped ears. I'm talking about a genetic trait that has the ears stand up like a rabbit. All right. So if you have a strong preference one way or the other, please let your breeder know. A really good schnauzer breeder will know if the lines that she or he is breeding have potential for stand-up ears. Mine have floppy ears, and I do not breed the color sable. The big reason why I don't breed the color sable is because I'm not able to communicate clearly with people about what the sable color will look like over time in a puppy. The change is just tr too dramatic. Now, this often becomes a question also with dogs that have the peppering 
gene going on. So those that end up being salt and pepper, they look black. They look very dark when they are born. And when they are puppies going home to new families, they don't look at all like what they are going to look like as adults. So if you're wanting a salt and pepper gray, that very traditional looking schnauzer, please make sure you do your research and understand the photographs of what a schnauzer puppy looks like at mm, six, eight, nine, ten 10 weeks when you are buying that puppy versus what it will look like when it's full grown. Please talk to your breeder and ask lots of questions to make sure that you fully understand that you are getting exactly what you want. For more information about my little schnauzers, please check out my website, svcctoys.com. That stands for Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. That's my website. And thanks so much for joining me here on YouTube. Please give it a thumbs up if you found value in this video. And I have lots more videos. In fact, you'll find this video is in a playlist related to using Embark DNA for breeding dogs. So for example, if you were thinking about breeding a sable dog, I want you to understand what the possibilities are in the colors that you would get when you breed a sable dog. And then you'll also find this video in a playlist that uh, helps you to understand uh, day in the life of a breeder and what you have to think about in order to be a really good ethical dog breeder. Again, thanks so much for joining me here on my adventure in uh, creating very healthy, beloved family pets. To be continued, see you in the next video.